Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to link a checkbox to a cell in Excel like and subscribe, support the channel, let's get started. To add a checkbox, go to the Developer tab, insert and select a checkbox from the Form Controls group and paste it. But the checkbox itself is not very useful without a cell link. Let's link the checkbox to the cell. Right click on the checkbox and select Format Control. Next, we are interested in the control tab and here we choose which cell we will link our checkbox with. Let's link this checkbox to the cell it's currently in. Select a cell and click OK. Now when the check mark is set, the true state appears in the cell and the false state appears in the opposite case. These values are necessary for working with checkboxes. If necessary, these values can be hidden, namely choose the cell and select the white color for all the tags in the cell. It was an easy way to link cells to checkboxes, but if you have hundreds of checkboxes, then manually linking each checkbox is a bad choice. Let's create a marker that will do all this work for us. Right click on the sheet and select view code. Add the module and enter the code. This marker finds all the checkboxes, defines which cell each checkbox is in, and then links it to that cell. This entire loop continues until the last checkbox is found. Let's go back to the worksheet and check how the macro works. Go to the Developer tab and click the Macros button. In the window that opens, select the macro and click Run. Now all the checkboxes are linked to the corresponding cells and we can see their status when clicking on them. To check how the linked checkboxes work, let's count them as an example. We type the count if function, the first argument is the range of cells with checkboxes, and the second argument is the counting criteria. Let it be true. Press enter, and as you can see, all the marked checkboxes are wonderfully counted. That's all, now we know more. Thanks for watching.